Hi everyone, I'm Phil Tens back here with another Escape from Tarkov video. Today we're going to be going over GPU spawns. More importantly, we're going to be going over some low key areas and some best ways to farm GPUs. Now, GPUs do spawn on all seven maps, and I'm going to be going over customs, interchange, and reserve. I did make a shoreline guide I'll be putting on the top right over here. So I did cover that in the other video. Um, the reason why I'm not going to be going over factory, woods, or labs is just because I feel like number one factory and woods, you don't find GPUs that often. And labs, you need to pay that 250k each time. So they're not as practical as these other ways of farming GPUs. I'm going to be going over some general ways to farm GPUs. For example, um, they're found in PC block. We're going to be going over that in a little bit. So don't worry about that. Stay tuned. And I'm also going to be showing the areas and some certain loot routes you can take to farm these GPUs as efficiently as possible. Now, GPUs are used in the hideout in the Bitcoin farm where you can farm Bitcoins, obviously. Um, right now, I have 17 GPUs. I haven't been that adamant on farming them. As you guys can see, I've only found 17. But they do go for around 900k on the flea market right now. I would not recommend buying them. If you use this video, you can farm them for yourself. And if you aren't going for the Bitcoin farm, you know, you could just sell them straight up to the flea market for 900k each. Or you could do what I'm doing and put them in your Bitcoin farm and produce Bitcoins each day. All right, I'm going to be using the official Escape from Tarkov wiki as my source. Um, as we can see here, we can actually find GPUs in general in ground caches and buried caches. Um, now, I've made previous videos about these also. I'll put that up on the top right. Um, but basically, you can find these on Interchange and Customs most prevalently. I don't go over them in the clips that I'll be showing off in the future, just because I've made videos on these in the past, and they're pretty much a general way of finding them. Also, you can find it in PC blocks and um, sports bags. Now, in PC blocks and sports bags, there's a very low chance of finding them, just as well as the buried caches. Um, very low chances, but there are chances, so don't be surprised if you do find them. And lastly, we can find them on dead scavs. Now, these aren't scavs that um, spawn in the raid and we kill and we can loot. These are scavs that spawn dead already on the map. I'll be showing that um, up on screen. So they have loot tables and they can actually have a GPU in that loot table. Um, they're not like a normal scav where they have their normal loot with a gun and whatnot. And I'll be linking the Tarkov wiki in the description down below. It does go over all the areas like customs, interchange, shoreline, what, whatnot, factory, all that. Um, I do go over all of them in this video for customs, interchange, and reserve. Like I said in the beginning, we're not going to be going over the other four maps. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, I hope you guys can farm some GPUs off this or learn something you didn't know about Tarkov in this video. Uh, I stream Escape from Tarkov almost daily. The link will be in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. And this video does help you out. Be sure to sub and like for more content like this. I drop guide videos all the time, so maybe I can help you guys out in the future. With all that said, may future foe tents take away the rest of the video with some customs interchange and reserve. See you guys in a bit. Well, I guess it's a second for you, right? <laughs> I'll see you guys. All right, everyone, here we are at our first location, the three-story dorms. Um, now, if you guys don't know where the three-story dorms in relation, I'll be using the gas station. The gas station is this way. Second-story dorms is right in front of the three-story dorms. If we run in through the front desk um, and we go to the right, right here, we can actually have a chance of finding a GPU on this couch right here. So now we got bolts this time, but right here where the bolts spawn, there is a chance of finding a graphics card. All right, so speaking of the gas station, we're at the gas station currently. Um, so we're going to run straight into the gas station, and there actually is a GPU spawn over here. If we go in through here, you will not be needing a key. It'll be in this room right here. And right here will be a GPU spawn. As you guys can see, RAM did spawn this time. Now, it's important to say that the last one and this one, there is not a high chance of a GPU spawn, but it can be found here, so be sure to take a look out. Um, it's not really that you guys should be farming these. It's more like if it's there, it's there. Don't be, you know, um, surprised. Now, customs is not the best area. We're going to be going into better areas to find some GPUs. But right now, let's just keep going through customs. All right, so this brings us to the best GPU spawn in all of customs. Um, the best chance, at least. Here we have the blue van with the flash drive spawn. We're on the mound hill over here. And if we run this way inside of this little uh, factory inside of here, we can find some stairs. And leading up the stairs is uh, the green screen room. So the green screen room does have a chance of spawning Tetrises and GPUs. Right here on the ground is where it usually does spawn, as you can see where this motor is right now. Um, so you can find GPUs here. There's a small chance, but a pretty good chance in relation to the last ones that I just showed you. And with that said, we'll go into the next GPU spawns 
right now. All right, so this brings us to the last area that I'm gonna be talking about on customs, and this is Big Red. So if you guys don't know, Big Red's on the complete opposite side of the map. Um, this is near the Crossroads Extract, and there is other GPU spawns over this way where the garages are, but I will not be going over that just because there's a very low chance you'll find any GPUs there, and also because it's very dangerous there. So I would argue that you're never probably gonna even find it. Um, like you could play 100 raids, you'll probably never even find one. So let's talk about how we can farm GPUs at Big Red. So if we go up these stairs right here, we're going to be needing the customs office key. Now the customs office key right as of right now does cost around 10k rubles um, on the flea market, but it does cost more early wipe because it's needed for quests. So if we come in here and we actually kick down this door right here, Right here on the ground where the CPU fan is can be a GPU spawn. Um, now, there is a few quests in this room and early wipe, it can get a little hectic. Uh, but if you're doing your quests and you find it here, don't be surprised. I will not go out of my way to find it here just because they don't spawn that often. All right, so now we're on interchange and I'm going to be going over my loot route on interchange that I take. Uh, to find gpus now i'm gonna be going over six different gpu spawn locations right now we're in the front of ollie in the front of the mall to the right side and we're gonna be going over these um locations i'm giving commentary as i go now we're gonna be running straight through here into ollie going up these stairs where we find our first location called text light um text light is one of the many tech stores on the map interchange and i'm pretty sure people know these pretty well you know this isn't really surprising new information but if you do have a good spawn and you get here first there's a really good chance you can find uh gpus in texco and Textlight. now in texco oh would you look at streamer luck gpu right there uh, we got a gpu right there and if you check all these shelves there are gpu spawn chances i would say this is probably one of the best stores to be looting as you guys saw we just got a gpu and there's a great chance of finding gpus here now, up these escalators is Text Light. Um, the only issue with Text Light is I usually don't like to loot it just because there's a lot of PvP that goes down here. As you guys know, the um, Ultra Medical uh, Closet is over there that has LEDX spawn chances and people like to farm it. But it is here. If you have the best spawn chance, there's a great chance that you can find GPUs in here if, um, if you get the best spawn, of course. We come in through here all over these shelves. Uh, over this way on these shelves and these shelves, these shelves as well. They all spawn tech loot. All right, so even if you don't find um, graphics cards, you can also find great tech loot like Tetris's, LCDs, power supply units, stuff like that that go for a lot on the flea market. All right, so um, that is text light though. Usually what I like to do is I'll loot Texco and I'll run this way to Rasmussen, which is the third tech store. I'll run into Rasmussen, I'll check all the shelves. Usually they don't spawn in the middle shelves, but spawn along these side ones right here. But you'll check all these shelves along here and here and here and here. And of course, along this side right here. And we'll run through this way. So right here is a killer spawn. You want to avoid this at all costs. And right next to the killer spawn is Kiba Arms, um, which is a great loot area. But you want to avoid this. You don't want to run through in the middle, especially if you don't have the Kiba key. And especially if you're rat running and don't have great gear. I run through the back. Uh, to the right is Goshan, and to the left right here is the middle of the mall. I tried avoiding the middle of the mall at all costs, just so you don't get shot. Usually no one does loot Goshan, and you'll have a pretty good chance of surviving through here. So we'll run through, run through these tents, and we'll go through this way towards the Emercom area. There's a library right here, and if we take a left, we'll find um, the Emercom medical unit. And my favorite store to personally loot. Um, that does have a GPU spawn, just because there are not a lot of PvP fights going down here. This is the Emercom unit over here. I've reportedly heard there are GPU spawn chances, but I would not recommend farming it because it's a 400k key and there isn't a great chance of it. So along these shelves right here in front of Emercom are tech spawns. Um, right here, we just found a GPU. There you go. And along these shelves as well is great uh, spawns for graphics cards. I found a few times here and I've actually found it deep into the raid. Not a lot of people even know about this area. So if we go out of the store and we keep running this way and we take a right this way, uh, we'll go into idea now idea has a manager's office that is needed for a quest i believe it's called database part one and you will not be needing a key for this you just got to run straight through but there might be a few pvp fights here usually towards the end of the raid sometimes it's not even looted so um i wouldn't expect a lot of people here but i would expect some people don't go in thinking you're you know totally fine scot-free so run through here towards um the manager's office we're going past these uh cashier little clerk stands and this is the escalators from the front from where you're gonna be running in through if we go in through here 
we'll find the manager's office and we'll check this shelf right here this has the best chance of spawning tech loot right here and right here as well um we'll check these desks as well and we'll check these side desks as well also there's a bunch of pcs here you can find them inside that we'll check here and here and here and here and of course right here and these two also if we come in through here along these shelves there's tech loot spawn as you guys just saw that drill um we'll come in through here and along these shelves as well okay and if we're coming through right here i like to loot this right here there's a bronze lion chance spawn right here we don't find it this time but that's besides the point if we're going through the back of idea we'll actually be heading towards the power station now not a lot of people know that in the power station there is a gpu spawn chance so if we come in run through here go through these doors and go outside keep running this way we're gonna do this in one take just to show you guys how easy it is uh the power station is this way we're gonna turn that flashlight off just because we don't need it so walking through this way um the power station there might be people camping it because people like to uh you know turn the power on for kibba and the ultra medical closet um sometimes people like to camp it just because they know people are going to want to turn the power on to farm those what i like to do is usually if i'm running my loot route i'll come through all of these stores i'll go into the power station check the gpu spawn and if the power is not on i'll turn the power on and go back to kibba and use the key if you guys want to see my kibba guide it's in the top right right now i did a great kibba guide and showed off the different uh money making methods with that so we're coming through here there's a few loot spawns like jackets and whatnot we're coming through here right here gpu spawn right here as well gpu spawn and along here gpu spawn we found a beard oil right there you need that for kappa so that is my guide for the map interchange and that's all the spawns on interchange all right right now we're on reserve we're gonna be using this helicopter as a point of reference um obviously i'll be going over drop down room over at the school um in this video but i want to show off some of the other gpu spawns just because i feel like everybody knows this one so here we are in front of white pond black pond and school if we run a little towards this way we'll actually find white queen as you guys can see um and we're gonna go towards the side of white queen we're gonna jump through these bushes and we're going to come through the server racks now on the server racks there are actually chances of pretty much a lot of different types of uh technical spawns spawning so if we check like uh through here and these little holes on these right here we just found um military gry gyro church to the meter yep you guys get the gist <laughs> so we look through these shelves and we have chances of finding different types of tech loop Sometimes we can find GPUs, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we find Tetrises, sometimes we don't. We get a little unlucky, but yeah. So this is White Queen. All right, we're back at the helicopter, and now we're going to go towards the infamous drop-down room. Now, if you guys don't know, this is probably one of the most rat-run areas on um, Reserve. People like to rush this, like, immediately at the start of the game, so you're going to have to watch out for a lot of PvP here. But if you're bringing in something like a pistol, and you're going to be, um, you know, gammaing or alphaing these. So you come in through the third floor on the school, jump through this window, be sure to drop on this roof right here of the front entrance. You're going to be coming through here. And right here on these uh, racks and along these boxes are Tetris and GPU spawns. You want to be checking all of this. Now, it's important to note that the only way out is actually um, through these front uh, windows. So you can't jump through the back. You're going to have to come through the front. And a lot of people know this and will, you know, be sniping from dome. So you got to watch out for that. All right, so we're back at the helicopter and I'm gonna be showing um, another GPU spawn location. Now it's important to say that I can't confirm if GPUs actually do spawn here, but according to the Tarkov Wiki, they do spawn on reserve on server racks. So I'm gonna be showing this off. Um, so in front of the helicopter, we run towards Black Pond. We can actually go down through the school as well, but I'm gonna be using Black Pond just because it's a little easier. Run, run in through here and through this door right here is the underground section. So we're gonna run in through here. We're gonna see this sign that says, welcome to hell. Once you see the welcome to hell sign, we're gonna go down these stairs right here. We're gonna go through here into this big open room and to our right is the power room. There's a few, you know, there's a tool set right there. We're gonna go in through here and here are server racks. Um, I'm not sure if GPUs do spawn here, but these are server racks like Tarkov Wiki says. There might be chances of finding them here, so. That's there for you guys. All right, so that brings our video to a conclusion. Those are all my uh, recommendations and best areas to farm GPUs. I bet the video did run long. We went over three different maps and I went into pretty good detail on them. Hopefully you guys are still here. Hopefully this video did help you out. And of course, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.